Hey there, how's it going Screaming Ghostface Collectors? I'm your host Douglas here at Drumway Productions bringing you another Screaming Ghostface Collectors video. And today we have a couple of screen use pieces, though they don't have lineage to the actual screen films or TV series or I guess really anything that was truly officially Scream outside of a Scream related thing and you can already tell what it is by the title and thumbnail of today's video. Today we have two masks, some paperwork, and some other paperwork that is missing but is still a part of this package deal, I'll explain. And all of this stuff comes from Drew Barrymore's TV show. Now, for those of you looking at this photo, this is not an item from today's video. I've already unboxed this in a recent video, but it's just a very nice photo of Wes and Drew sharing a very sentimental moment in a very iconic movie scene. Some even say the most iconic opening to a horror film of all time. But let's go ahead and take a look at these newer modern day items that are unfortunately not related to 1996's Scream, but are still very, very cool. I guess let's go ahead and start out with the masks first. So. Here we have a screen used Drew Barrymore Show Ghostface Ultra White Mask. And as I stated, we have two masks. Here is an unused production mask from Drew Barrymore's TV show. Now, who wore these masks? Or just the one mask, I guess. And I, I don't remember if we've already shouted him out in this video yet or not, but if I did, you already know, but if not, this was actually worn by Nate Reagan. Nate, as well as another Scream super fan, Meggie Blaine, were both invited to be guests for a very special Scream episode of Drew's show. And not only were they supposed to be guests in the audience, but they were actually supposed to be involved with the show itself. But initially, the plan was for Nate to go on stage and ask the cast some questions various different questions, and he unfortunately does not have that list of questions, but I assume they're related to something we're going to take a look at in a minute. And then Meggie was also supposed to go on stage and ask the cast trivia question. We would have had two super fans interacting with the cast on Drew Barrymore's TV show on live television. That would have been so freaking cool. But then we would have had Nate trying to gather some new information, whereas Meggie is asking the cast trivia to see how much they know about the movie itself. At least, I think that was pretty much the plan. However, unfortunately, once they got there, they ended up switching things around, decided that might be a little bit too tricky, and instead they just had Drew do the entire thing. But Nate and Meggie were still there, they were still guests, and you actually can still see them in the episode. Now, at the time of filming, I have no clue how much of that episode is actually live, like on YouTube, where I can grab it and put clips in here, but I know there's at least one good photo where you can see Meggie right next to Nate, and Nate, unfortunately, is wearing this mask for the entire time. Another thing that didn't go as planned was the mask situation, because this was right around the time of lockdown, so not only were they letting some people wear ghost face masks, but everyone was required to wear a surgical mask. Now, that sounds pretty fine, pretty normal, but let's say, I don't know, you wanted to wear one of these while you're one of the guest characters. Apparently, they were initially going to have it where people could just take their masks on and off as they pleased, whatever. But then, they decided to ask everyone who put their mask on for the initial shots to keep it on for the rest of filming. Which is going to take a pretty decent amount of time, plus you're breathing through one mask into another. Vinyl itself is already not very breathable and a very, very hot material to stay within. So I can imagine Nate, as well as anyone else that was wearing one of these masks for a prolonged period of time, was suffering. Another thing that kind of was unfortunate to begin with, but actually became a blessing in disguise, was the condition of this particular Ultra White. When they were handing them out, Nate initially got one that is a little subpar as far as like a high quality, well-made copy. The stencil was put on wrong, so it's a little bit oversprayed on the mouth, the eyes are a little bit wonky as well, but most notably is the nose, where you've got so much overspray. And the side of the nose isn't even the worst part to me. I have Gen 1s and 2s that have that very same problem, and I think it's a pretty cool feature. However, all of this overspray on the bottom of the nose, not a good look. I actually think I have an HN that pretty much has the same problem. So as far as being a nice, perfect, symmetrical shape, it is absolutely not that. 
But due to it being misshapen, it actually ended up being a blessing because it was very, very easy to screen match and to spot this particular mask in the crowd. So there you go, a screen used mask from the set of Drew Barrymore's show, and it was worn by a Scream super fan and friend of the channel, Mr. Nate Reagan over at Reagan Productions. Now, as for what was forgotten in this package, we have Nate's original tickets for the show. Not a huge deal, but kind of it is, especially to display alongside the mask and just to have more provenance and history because they are just regular old ultra whites. That is very helpful and also just a cool piece to complete the full set. Now, we do have some other paperwork here, and I would love to go over all this with you guys and read it all to you. Unfortunately, it's kind of the shorthand version. What we have here are Drew Barrymore's actual notes for what she was asking the cast whenever she was doing the show. They have several different versions of questions that did not get asked, and then they have the versions that are highlighted that did get used. And unfortunately, they're only like half of the question itself. It's not the full question. I could probably, you know, kind of give you guys, I guess, I guess I could read it to you anyway, but there'd be no point. It's like half of a sentence. And I do believe almost everything, if not everything that is highlighted was asked. So I guess it would have made it into the show anyway. But regardless, we still have some production paperwork that was used by Drew Barrymore on the set of her show, alongside a mask that was screen used, a production piece, and Nate Reagan's tickets. So while this isn't anything as badass or extravagant as something that actually is linked to the films or the TV series, still a pretty cool piece of Scream memorabilia. And with that being said, I think that about wraps it up for today's video. Not a whole lot left to say, and really not a whole lot left to see as far as close-ups because they're just ultra whites. But I'll go ahead and throw in some close-ups for those of you who do want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you all. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.